Hey guys, hope you're all doing very well. I thought I'd do another Bitcoin video today as it's been a week since the last one and we've got a little bit more lower time frame price action to discuss. I think it's pretty interesting at this moment because it is shaping up to show us that we might be seeing a little bit of weakness approaching coming into this Bitcoin market. So that is what we're going to elaborate on in today's video. Going off the last video, I mentioned that the bulls had actually cleared a very important level of resistance. And that was looking at our 200 week simple moving average, which is this black line here, previously wonderful support. It was lost here and then it was resistance for a moment. And then we managed to get a good strong weekly close above. We've had a subsequent weekly doji and now we're seeing a little bit of weakness come in. So I'm not too sure we're going to get a third week close above this 200 week simple moving average, which currently sits around 25k. So keep that number in mind. 25k is incredibly important. On top of that, we actually broke through this weekly R3 camera pivot level right here. That was again another really strong sign as these camera pivots have been wonderfully accurate over the last five years in particular. So again, we have to wait and see how this finishes out. We might be coming down to close again beneath, beneath this R3. So we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Coming back to the main chart. So those were the bullish aspects that we saw last week. But I did mention we are at a resistance level at this level of 29k. And there were a few reasons for that. First of all, historic resistance. You can see here, his, well, sorry, historic support. You can see wonderful support here, support here, support here. So now, obviously, when we test the underside of it, it's not too surprising that it's acting as a level of resistance. Okay, massive level historically. On top of that, this trend that has been going up had become a little bit overbought and exhausted. We were hitting the upper warning line, which previously, as you can see within this trend, had acted as wonderful resistance many, many times. And so it's not too surprising that it's needed to cool off at this point. So the question is, is this a little bit of a cool off and take profit level, getting ready to gear up for the next move up and break through this really important horizontal level? Or are we seeing a big reversal at this point and a continuation of a major bear market? Okay, so that's the big question at hand and that's what we're going to be discussing. So 29k, incredibly important level as I mentioned. So we've got the historic level of support. We've got the upper warning line. And we've also actually got a very nice Elliott wave scenario here. So I've been looking at this as a three wave move down to make a W. Then we're looking at this as a big X wave of which I'm looking at it as an expanded flat. So that's a three, three, five expanded flat. And interestingly, we've got some very nice Fibonacci relationships between the A, B and C, which is almost textbook for what you would want to look for. So if we just look at the length of A using our Fib extension tool, and then we extend that from the bottom of B here. So we can see the length of B comes to the one point, uh, sorry, to the 1.382. And then the length of C goes to the 1.618. So that is a pretty classical Fibonacci relationship for the expanding waves within an expanded flat. So again, we're getting a little bit of confluence here between Elliott wave, pitchforks, and horizontal level so it's an absolutely massive level that it needs to overcome at 29k so really really important resistance here and on top of that we're still just above that important level of 25k which is where our 200 week simple moving average sits it's where our weekly camera pivot sits on the r3 and also, it's probably around the point of this median line also. So I've got my eyes really focused on this median line right now. And I'll talk about how we might be approaching that pretty soon. Okay. Now, supposing we do push through 29K, which at present I think is less likely. But if we do, then I believe there's a good move into 35K, which is our next major level of resistance. Again, historically, it's been an important level of support back here. And on top of that, just looking at our camera pivots, it's also where the R4 camera pivot is at 35k. All right. So let's not forget how important these camera pivots are. You can see all the way back 2018 S4 support, 2019 R4 resistance, 2020 S3 support, strong year. Subsequent year of 2021, it was a little bit of consolidation. Uh, but finished the year strong above the R4. Subsequently, you look for a bit of support here at the S3, it offered it temporarily, then we shot down, and then it was a weak year ultimately, finishing beneath the S4. So what you would look for in this 
following year of 2023 is resistance at the R3 or R4. Now, as I said, we've pushed through the R3, which is an incredible show of strength. So if we do manage to push higher above 29K, I've got the next major level of resistance being at 35K. So a couple of reasons for that. It's the R4 on the Camarilla pivots, the weekly Camarilla pivots. And also we've got this historic level of support back here also. Okay, so a couple of reasons. Again, I'd still be looking at the expanded flat. It would be a more exaggerated C leg within the expanded flat. But nevertheless, it's still a plausible count. Uh, and certainly if it breaks that level then we can talk about all-time highs because we're really questioning any potential um, bearish count being invalidated so yeah those are the key levels I'm looking out for 29k 35k after which you've really got to fancy the bulls to test the all-time highs but as it stands a lot of the reason for why I'm a little bit bearish at present despite the fact that we've pushed above the 200 week simple moving average is because we are struggling at 29k okay but also the stock markets are looking incredibly weak okay when we look at the stock markets there's certain sectors that are doing well and that is the uh, consumer staples it's energy and it's utilities now generally when these assets do well and outperform the rest of the assets things like tech and the finance um consumer discretionaries then it's a it's a pretty ominous sign that you're in a, a pretty uh concerning phase of the economic cycle approaching recession okay so just looking at that i lean bearish at present okay now looking at this the reason we're at a very key point is because of this pitchfork to the upside i just want to show you if we go in a little bit closer we'll go on the four hourly now we are approaching the upper median line okay and the way I'm seeing is, this is looking incredibly heavy. I see this as wanting to come down further, certainly, before attempting to come back up. So I think we take out this upper median line pretty soon. And I'm pretty confident that we're going to come and visit this median line. Now, the big question is, will the median line act as support or not? Okay, there is good support there in terms of technicals because we've got a 200 week simple moving average. We've got that weekly R3 camera pivot and we've got the median line. Okay. So this is the big battle that I'll be looking out for to see how we react at this median line. Okay, so we've got that to look out for. But if we lose that median line, I that for me, that's the confirmation of the bears taking over this market once more. Okay, losing the 25k. 25k, very important level. It's the 200 week simple moving average. It's this very important median line of the uh, this pitchfork here that has hold the, held the trend incredibly well. So, of course, to completely invalidate this upward trend, you would want to see price come beneath the lower warning line. We're just trying to anticipate things before they materialize to optimize risk reward. And as I say, I think already there's an argument for a bearish element to this, the way this is setting up right here, hovering around the upper median line, not really bouncing up off of it, looking heavy, looking like it wants to come down. And as I say, I think it comes to the median line and that is going to be a real test you know it really needs to hold on to that level and i'm not too sure it's going to be able to do it but i can't say we've resumed a bear market until that has happened as long as we stay above 25k the bulls are still in with a big fighting chance of taking this back to at least 35k all right so the battle is on right around here just to get a bit of a better idea as to how this is playing out let's go on the hourly time frame and we can just pull on our Camarilla pivots and we can see here on the Camarilla pivots we are just being held up by the S4 here and the S3 acting as resistance but it's as you can see it's looking heavy it looks like this is your direction this is your pause and we're getting ready for the next leg down on the 15 minute time frame so your intraday uh, price action here Again, S3 support is looking heavy. It looks like it wants to make a look, another leg down for the day. I'm not too sure for the day we finish beneath the S4, but we could just edge beneath the S3 and that would be considered weakness in my opinion for the following day. So this is generally how I'm seeing things at present. So in summary, bulls are still in this game as long as we stay above 25K, but the concerns are what we're seeing in stocks right now, I'm not going to cover that in today's video, otherwise it will drag on too long. But uh, they are looking weak in my opinion. Um, and on top of that, we look a little bit heavy. At least we're going to come down a little bit further, which in my opinion takes us to the median line. And that is a level that the, the bulls must defend if we are to see this market resume 
a strong uptrend and take out 29k to push on to at least 35k all right guys so i think we'll wrap it up there as always if you want to further your knowledge of trading then do consider checking out my course over on wave618.com or consider joining cryptology where we cover bitcoin by looking at the scope across crypto we look into ethereum as well as us indices to get a much wider picture of what is going on in these markets so link to the link is in the description down below there is a current discount on cryptology running at this moment so you can, again that is in the description and if you want to update your knowledge on elliot wave then check out this video right here all right guys i think we're going to wrap it up take care